Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a trip to beautiful Chandler, Arizona. It's got sunshine, it's got fun, and best of all, it's got me telling you all about it. We're counting down the 10 best places to visit in Chandler. And trust me, you don't wanna miss this. From parks and museums to shopping and dining, Chandler has something for everyone. So buckle up and get ready for some fun in the Arizona sun. Let's dive in. First up, we're heading over to the Chandler Fashion Center, and let me tell you, this isn't your grandma's mall, unless your grandma is super stylish. We're talking hundreds of stores, from your favorite department stores to those little boutiques you just fall in love with, and don't even get me started on the food. Whether you're craving a quick bite or a fancy sit-down dinner, they've got you covered. Seriously, you could spend a whole day here and still not see everything. But hey, that's just more reason to come back, right? If you need a break from all that shopping, take a deep breath and head on over to Veterans Oasis Park. This place is like a little slice of desert paradise right in the middle of the city. We're talking miles of trails for walking, jogging, or just enjoying the scenery. And keep your eyes peeled for some desert wildlife. You might spot a roadrunner zipping by, or maybe even a coyote howling in the distance. Don't worry, they're more scared of you than you are of them. Probably. Just kidding. But seriously, this park is the perfect place to relax, recharge, and reconnect with nature. Next stop, history buffs, this one's for you. The Arizona Railway Museum is a must-see for anyone who's ever dreamed of riding the rails. You'll see vintage locomotives, passenger cars, and all sorts of railway artifacts that'll take you back in time. And the best part? You can actually climb aboard some of these trains. It's like stepping into a time machine. Just try not to get too caught up in taking selfies and forget to get off at your stop. Not that I've ever done that. Okay, maybe once, but hey, it made for a good story, right? Chapter four, fun for everyone. Now let's talk about a place that's fun for the whole family, Tumbleweed Park. This sprawling park has something for everyone. We're talking playgrounds, picnic areas, sports fields, you name it. They even have a fishing lake. Just be sure to bring your own fishing pole and a whole lot of patience. Those fish are trickier than they look. But even if you don't catch anything, it's a beautiful place to spend an afternoon. And who knows, you might even spot one of those elusive Chandler chupacabras. Just kidding, maybe. Chapter five, downtown delight. When the sun starts to set, head on over to downtown Chandler for a night you won't forget. This vibrant area is bursting with restaurants, bars, and live music venues. You can catch a show at the historic Chandler Center for the Arts, grab a bite at a trendy gastropub, or just stroll down the street and soak up the atmosphere. And if you're lucky, you might even stumble upon one of Chandler's many festivals or events. They've got everything from chili cook-offs to art walks to concerts in the park. Trust me, there's never a dull moment in downtown Chandler. Chapter six, arts and culture. Speaking of the Chandler Center for the Arts, this place is a must see for any art lover. We're talking Broadway shows, concerts, dance performances, art exhibitions, you name it. They've got it all. And the best part, the acoustics in this place are incredible. You'll feel like you're right there on stage with the performers. Just try not to sing along too loudly. Unless you're really good, then by all means, belt it out. Next up, we're taking a ride on the Desert Breeze Railroad. This adorable train ride winds its way through Desert Breeze Park, giving you a unique perspective on this beautiful green space. And the best part? It's fun for kids and adults alike. Just try not to get too competitive with the little ones over who gets to sit in the front. Not that I would know anything about that. Chapter eight. Howdy, partner. Saddle up partners and get ready for a rootin' tootin' good time at Rawhide Western Town and Event Center. This place is like stepping back in time to the Wild West. We're talking gunfights, stunt shows, mechanical bull riding, and all sorts of other attractions that'll make you feel like you're in an old Western movie. Just watch out for those tumbleweeds. They're sneakier than they look. Chapter nine, four, calling all golf enthusiasts. The Ocotillo Golf Club is a must visit. This championship golf course is known for its challenging layout and stunning desert views. And don't worry if you're not a pro, they've got lessons and clinics for golfers of all skill levels. Just try not to get too frustrated if your ball ends up in a sand trap. It happens to the best of us. Chapter 10, Artful Adventures. 
Last but not least, we're wrapping up our tour at the Zelma Basha Salmeri Gallery. This hidden gem is home to a unique collection of contemporary and traditional art from around the world. You'll find everything from paintings and sculptures to textiles and ceramics. It's the perfect place to spend an afternoon browsing and appreciating the arts. Who knows, you might even find the perfect piece to take home with you. Outro see you soon, Chandler. Well, there you have it, folks. The 10 best places to visit in Chandler, Arizona. From shopping and dining to parks and museums, Chandler has something for everyone. So what are you waiting for? Book your trip today and experience it all for yourself. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel guides and tips. See you next time.